Wow, it's one way to make sure he's loose. But he's been dominant here in an Astros uniform. Five starts, 35 innings, and that translates, if you can do math at home, do seven innings a start exactly for Garrett Cole on Monday. Swing and a miss, he gets Matt Joyce. Tying a franchise record for RBIs with Reggie Jackson, of all people. Started out his career as an Oakland A's, as an Oakland athletic before being traded on. Swing and a miss, and Cahill on three pitches strikes out George Springer to start this game. Can't play now. Gets the swing and a miss there on the breaking ball. And there you go. Fastball challenges up 98. Garrett Cole strikes out the side. Available for those with AT&T Sportsnet and their TV subscription, blackouts and territorial restrictions apply. And he tries to hold up, but he goes down swinging there. Right on the money, Pinder just a little too fast. There's a line drive towards right, and George Springer will cut this off. Pinder comes around to score, and the ball eludes George. And it's now a 1-0 lead as Jonathan Lucroy has doubled in Chad Pinder back-to-back -back doubles, and the A's on top, 1-0. And he gets him. Swing and a miss. And he bunts it this time. He drags it, and he's going to be safe. How about that? One and two the count. Catcher's interference. Catcher's interference called against Jonathan Lucroy. Somebody... I know that Todd and I have specific scorecards and scorebooks that we use. There's a ball ripped to left field. That'll score at least one. Jake being held up, and now the fumble. But it's too late to restart Jake. Rounded out his first time up. Around the bunt, bunts it to the right side, and Cahill's gonna flip it to first. In comes Marisnik to score, and the Astros take it two to one lead. And a called third strike. We saw the Astros take advantage of at least one of those situations last night. Another ball down the line, this time Chapman can't get there, and that is extra bases for Yuli. It should be. He stopped at first base for a moment, and now he goes to second. Called third strike. Alex thought that was a little high. Impressive. Well, my third cup of coffee, Todd. <laughs> right back to Cahill. Marwin on one hop is retired for the final out of the inning. And a fastball freezes him. Good stuff. Swing and a miss, 97, 10 strikeouts through five innings. Stassi into right field, that'll send Piscotti back to the wall, and he will make the catch. No, it's a home run! It's a home run, a fan. No, they're going to call it an out. It's an out. A fan reached over as Piscotti was ready to make the catch, and the second base umpire, Dan Bellino, is calling it an out. Max Stassi is going to circle the bases just in case. Afternoon, I should say Springer drills one deep to left center field. This ball is gone. George Springer hits number six on the year. The Astros take a three to one lead. What we saw looked like Chris Lucroy base hit in the left field. He's got two of the three hits today for the A's. What we saw looked like. And he rips one over Marwin Gonzalez and into right field for a hit. Lucroy going first to third as Springer gets the ball back in. And the A's have themselves a little rally here in the sixth inning. Towards the middle of the diamond, and it's trapped wow. and a double play turned by Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin stepped on the bag and threw to first for the double play on the trap and kept the runner at third base all in the same motion. On the ground towards first, it bounces up off of Yuli, and everybody safe with a run scoring on a bad hop. He got him. Strikeout number 11. Stassi has to throw to first to complete the out, and he does. Ball sent to right field, pretty well hit. Springer all the way back at the wall. This one's off the top of the wall. Stays in play, and Piscotti has a one-out double. 
Strikeout number 12. Each of his five previous starts with the Astros. Today, six and two thirds. Ball in the center field. That'll be a hit. Jake Mersnick charges and he slips, and that'll allow the run to score. Jake trying to hustle to get in position to make a throw ended up slipping. Correa in the shift takes it from Marwood and makes the play getting Joyce for the final out. Ball four. Bregman draws a walk to start the seventh. Working out of the starting role and out of the bullpen for some teams. Alex is on the move. Swing and a miss. Luke Roy's throw bounces in the center field. Bregman's going to head to third base. There you go on the strikeout. The Astros get a runner to third with one out in the seventh. Popped up. Shallow right center field. The infield was in. Who wants it? It's Simmons who drops it. Alex Bregman trying to score, and he is safe. Astros take the lead. Wow. Poor Marcus Simeon's got to feel like he's on an island out there. Great slide by Alex Bregman, making sure he gets that left foot down. Infield in. Marcus Simeon came all the way from shortstop. Willie Mays and wasn't able to get there. Now Jake rips one to left field. Joyce watches it go off the wall. Ryan McCann heading the third. He's being waved around. The relay throw by Simeon. And that's a base hit in the left field. 6 3 Astros. Altuve continues to hit well with runners in scoring position. RBI number 14 and 15 in today's game for Altuve. Towards third, Chapman, nice short hop to second for one, and they're able to turn two on Correa to end the inning. 11 games this season. Excellent numbers again, 12 punch outs to two walks. That time he misses the fastball, foul tip caught by McCann. On the ground, in the shift, Marwin down to a knee to make sure he corrals it. Retires Olsen for the final out of the inning. There's a ball in the right center field for a base hit. Coming around third is Reddick. He will score seven to three Astros on the RBI by Marwin Gonzalez. Shallow right center that was dropped. This one driven much deeper. Bregman will tag up on the fly ball to right. And he will score easily. Sacrifice fly for Brian McCann is now an 8 to 3 game. Joe Smith trying to find that groove here in an Astros uniform. And Good job throwing strikes. Smith gets Piscotti swinging. Ball is hit to left field and hit pretty well. Josh Reddick all the way back. He is looking up, and this ball is gone. That is a home run for Chad Pinder, his second of the series and his third of the season. Pinder, who spent some time on the DL earlier this year with the A's. Afternoon contest on Thursday. There's a ball towards Correa. This should be the ball game. Carlos throw is up high, and Curiel comes down with it for the final out of the game, and that'll do it. Astros take the series, winning two out of three. After losing the opener Friday, back-to-back -back victories and the Fortnite jubilation dance as the outfielders come on in after this 8-4 win. Good to see the combination. I know Cole ends up with a no decision, but he continues to pitch well.